wanted to show you guys that beautiful purple hue coming up through the trees in the sunrise this morning. Look how purple that is. Isn't that beautiful? I wanted to show you guys my uh, angel wing begonia. Uh, Labor Day, Monday, around here, it was so windy, and it, uh, that thing was just so beautiful, and the wind blowed it over and broke off a whole bunch of limbs on this side, and I stuck them down in this pot here to get them re-going again, but man, I was so mad, but anyway, see, this is how flowers usually grow on it. This is usually how it blooms out. But this year, this thing really put out a bud. Look at that. I've never seen it put that many out before. I mean, it's just like a giant big old bud pull. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to save it because you can see where the, when it knocked it over, it broke off a whole bunch of limbs on this one side. Hopefully I can get them going again and save them. Well guys, it's that time again to start moving plants inside. So for me to take this angel wing inside, I got to clip off all of the flowers because if I don't, this is the mess I'll have in the house. Because it drops flowers everywhere. So I got to go through and clip and that's too bad because these things were <clears throat> these things were so pretty but they got to come off see just go through and do you know this plant when it blooms outside it will bloom red but like this like i'm showing now but if it blooms all right where yet if it blooms inside of the house the blooms are white hi guys of course traffic's going to pick up because i decided to do this outside anyway i wanted to say um uh, summer went fast and uh, it's time to put mother earth back to sleep again until next year and I have to say that I am so proud of so many of you YouTubers who put gardens in this year that haven't put a garden in in a while. And uh, thank you for showing your harvest. Thank you for showing your harvest. Thank you for showing us that you canned everything that you that you grew this year and. I have to say everybody's garden was just awesome this year in the harvest and mine, my garden overdid it. I couldn't be more proud of how my garden did this year, but it's time to put Mother Nature back to sleep and get it ready for next year. But I mean my heart is just swollen with pride for all the YouTubers that showed their gardens and their growing of plants and it was it was an awesome summer. It was a very hot summer, very awesome, and it didn't seem like it lasted very long. And that's what I'm doing now is, is trying to gather all of my house plants that's got to be taken inside. Anyway, I wanted to show you just a little bit of what I did this year, which was I grew my own basil and dried. We uh, dehydrated it and canned it. So I'd have that. We made a ton of salsa we made uh we canned pears we made pear butter we did uh apple butter i did pickle relish now this is my first year doing pickle relish and it came out awesome an overload on pickles this year. Uh, 
I did uh, pickles, sliced and chip. We canned green beans. I canned tomatoes and put basil leaves in the bottom. Dehydrated and canned uh, mushrooms. Dehydrated and canned potatoes. Dehydrated and canned carrots. Believe it or not, that is, you wouldn't believe how many carrots is in this one little jar. It's crazy. Dehydrated and did onions, which I still have more onions to do. And then I dehydrated peas, carrots, and celery together for soup starters. But that's not counting all of the uh, stuff that uh, we cut, blanched, bagged, and put in the deep freeze. My deep freeze is full. I probably can't get anything else in there. The only thing I'm gonna have to get at the store all winter long is like coffee and stuff like that. I won't have to buy any vegetables and I won't have to buy any meat probably all winter long. So when I go grocery shopping, I can buy coffee and stuff up for two or three months at a time and not have to go out to do anything. Overdid it on uh, zucchini this year. Look at this clay jack-o'-lantern I found. And it had this in the top and I thought it was like a candle holder. And when I got it home, I took it out and I figured it out that it's the jack-o'-lantern's head. Is that not cool? So I bought that, so I don't have to get a real pumpkin to set and rot on my porch, which I'll probably try to go ahead and buy one. And then I grew one cucumber and let it turn yellow because this is what I'm going to save my seeds out of this year. But anyway, I would just, I want to thank everyone who supported me through the whole summer and who sent out prayers and uh, get well wishes whenever I was feeling bad and there was a couple of weeks there that I was down really, really sick and I just wanted to thank everybody for their prayers and thoughts that they sent and also I want to send out a special thank you for Donna Lemus who I don't know if I could have made it through this summer without her she has been a godsend helping me all summer long I mean she's just been she's been there for me this year and I want to thank her and uh, I want to thank my sister Sarah coming down and, and helping me get my when I wasn't feeling too well and I got behind on everything she came down and her son mowed my yard they went out and helped pick my garden then she spent the night and helped me get some of the last of my canning done it was just awesome anyway um I'm on 600 and some subscribers. I waited until I went over to do this, but now I'm going to be doing the 600 subscriber giveaway. And, you know, there's nothing special to do to enter to get it. All you have to do in the comments below, just put enter me and I will put you in for the drawing. And what I'm giving away is one of the solar panel, uh, bird bath water pumps now this i bought one at the beginning of summer and i just fell in love with it I, it was just the most awesome thing and i thought this would be a perfect gift to give away for subscriber giveaway so i bought this one is a little bit smaller than the one that i bought for myself this one is especially made for the regular side bird bath or you can get a, a big clay pot and put on your deck, fill it with rocks and water and put that in there to give your deck a little small water feature so you have water to listen to when you're sitting out there. Or it's great for uh, bird baths so it sort of keeps the water circulated so mosquitoes don't nest in it or allergies don't grow in it you don't have to change the water so much. And the birds love it. They love getting under the little sprinkles coming down. Uh, this one has four different design tops that snap on for four different patterns where it has one that just shoots it straight up 
but it, it, it'd be great for, for um, you know, like I said, a uh, little fountain for your deck or a sprinkler water thing for your um, bird bath or it's great for putting in little small ponds to uh, aerate the water for the fish. It, it's really good. And, and like I said, I love mine and I decided this is what I'm going to give away because I am so proud of mine. I want somebody else out there to have one. But like I said, now this one's about half the size of the one that I have. Mine's made for a little bit bigger pond or bigger bird bath or whatever. And this one that I'm giving away, and I will put a picture of uh, the exact one that I'm going to be sending out right here. But this is the exact one that I'll be sending out to you. And I hope a lot of people sign up because these things, they are awesome. Anyway, um, you have until, you have six days to uh, watch the video and enter. So it'll be like, uh, this is Tuesday the 15th, I believe, when this video comes out. So we will, I will do the drawing next Tuesday so from Tuesday today to next Tuesday is is we'll give you time to to watch the video and decide if you want to enter the drawing or not and I want to thank everybody all 600 subscribers and all the ones that have stuck with me for the whole last year that I've been on and helped my channel grow and I'm hoping to just keep going and keep growing. Uh, you know, with cold weather coming on, I'm going to be cutting videos down again. I think I'm going to do videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That way, I don't have the pressure of trying to get one out every day. Because in the wintertime, it's almost impossible. Unless you guys don't want to see the snow every day. You know, I can go out and film it snowing every day, cold wind blowing every day, or the leaves falling. You guys don't want to see all of that every day. So I'm going to, and I'm still going to do channel shout outs on Thursdays. That's been going really well. People really like that. And it's been helping a lot of the channels. And I don't pick channels because you are low subscribers or whatever. I pick channels of someone who I enjoy or they put out what I think is the great video for that week. Anyway guys, I still got a lot of work to do. So I got to get busy. So leave a comment in the comment area. All you have to do is say add me and you will be added for the drawing. I want to think it's like the 22nd or something like that is what next Tuesday is. Whatever next Tuesday is. That will be the day of the drawing. And I wish every one of you good luck. And I want to thank every one of you for sticking with me for the whole year. And I hope you stay with me. Bye, everybody.